having destroyed whole cities in Independence Day and Godzilla, Master of Disaster Roland Emmerich returns to reign apocalyptic fire on the entire planet in 2012. Anyone who's sat through his earlier films will know what to expect. Disparate groups of survivors trying to find somewhere to hide, wedged between scenes of things going bang and going bang very loudly. On the 21st of December of this year, this year, this year, he said that the government is building these ships. So when do we let the people know? Our mission is to assure the continuity of our species. Wasn't it also decided that people have the right to fight for their lives? This time, the cause of the catastrophe are solar flares, which melt the Earth's crust and cause whole continents to go spinning. With disaster right around the corner, the world's governments get together to construct giant arcs to save the lucky few. Providing the human side of things is John Cusack, who plays a divorced dad who, together with his wife and two kids, tries to find safety. As you can see, the special effects can't be faulted, with perhaps a highlight being a scene where Las Vegas disappears into the sands like a latter-day Gomorrah. Unfortunately, it's the human side of things that let this down. There's not a character here with a third dimension, and all of them spout corny, unbelievably hackneyed dialogue, just merely to move the plot along. Overall, I'm afraid this is a two out of five.